In times like these everyone lacks hope, purpose and salvation. As a result, humanity is subject to its sinful nature, chasing depravity and abolishing all sense of decency, believing that this might fill the emptiness they have in their lives. Whether it may be adultery, seeking fame on social media, or striving for riches. All these bring no fulfillment and leave one with a bitter aftertaste. However, every human has hope, purpose and a salvation and that in only Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself for our sins so that we may have the salvation which is eternal life in heaven. But not only this. In him you will find hope for the future. Because we Christians know that all things work together for good to them that love God. If you accept these facts, you are equipped to lead a purposeful lifestyle in Christ. May Jesus Christ bless you in your walk. Encourage you, and I, I need to mention this. When we come to these Bible sessions, have your Bible ready with you. Have your Holy Bible open before you and have your pen and paper. Write down references. Write down you know, information for yourself. Because when you write things down, you, do, you tend to remember them uh, much, much better. And even if you forget, you can go back to your notes and refresh your memory. So please, I encourage you. Have your Bible with you, Holy Bible, and a pen and a paper and write down things. Let's go to Genesis chapter 11 and verses 1 to 9. Let's go to Genesis 11, verses 1 to 9, and let's see who was this woman, the harlot woman, that she was drinking the blood of the saints of Jesus? She was drunk in her own fornication. She killed the saints of the Lord Jesus. This woman, this harlot woman, is called Babylon the Great. Well, let's see. Where is, who is this Babylon the Great? John the Beloved is writing the book of Revelation for the future, not for the past. If we are talking about Babylon, which is in Iraq, Mesopotamia in the Middle East, well, definitely, John the Beloved is not talking about that Babylon because that Babylon was history as far as John the Beloved was concerned. The book of Revelation is futuristic, not past tense, is future tense. So who is and what is the great Babylon which is the harlot woman of the future? Which one is it? It is... It is the eighth who came out of the seventh empire and is the seventh empire. And we said the seventh empire is Great Britain and the United States of America together as the ram who came out of the land, two horns, Great Britain one horn, America another horn, dressed up as ram, Christians before the world, but inside speak blasphemy against Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about the people of these countries. I'm talking about governments. Please, pay attention. Satan came to establish a mountain, his mountain on earth. This mountain is kingdom. Kingdom is a government, is a beast, is an empire. Evil intentions, evil. There are some wonderful British people and American people, faithful to the Lord, loving the Lord, have good conscience, good morals and values and principles, and I pray for them and I love them from the bottom of my heart. I'm talking about governmental systems that are evil in these countries. Let's go to Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 to 9, and we'll see what is this Babylon the great of the future? And it is the United Nations. Because United Nations was established by both Great Britain and America, the empire of the 20th century, on the 24th of October, 1945. It was called the Leagues of Nations and then changed to the United Nations and now it is in New York City. Amazing. We read Genesis 11, one to nine. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelled there. Then they, they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. 
they had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a, a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. My goodness. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But it's amazing. It's beautiful. This little tiny word, but it makes a whole change and difference. But totally different direction. But the Lord. Wow. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, indeed, the people are one and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they pros uh, propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, the name, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. John the Beloved in Revelation 17, he called this woman, the harlot woman, sitting on these seven heads, which are the seven empires. He calls her mystery, Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is in the future. The Babel, uh, the Babel of the future is the United Nations, which is the eighth that came out of the seven that was wounded and is the seventh. What happened in Babylon of Iraq, Mesopotamia? And by the way, that's where I come from. I was born in Iraq and I'm proud to be an Assyrian. The greatest, uh, uh, the greatest civilizations to be seen, the, the cradle of all civilization, 